Hi guys, it's Olivia here, and today I'm going to be doing an American Girl tutorial on how to make an American Girl magazine. Now, I don't have a finished piece because as I'm doing this, I'm doing it along with you guys. So what you're going to be needing for this tutorial is... A scholastic book order from school, or just go online and print out some book covers. Next, what you'll be needing is paper to your choice. I'm using this white paper as the back cover and the pages. Next, what you'll be needing is scissors. I don't have scissors to show you right now because I already have what I needed cut out. But I was using these scissors to do it so yeah scissors last what you'll be needing is duct tape i'm using clear duct tape because who wants gray duct tape on their writing on a paper of a book so yeah Okay, so as you guys know, I um, am just starting this book, and I'm going along with you guys of what I know on how to make notebooks and journals and diaries. I will be doing one diary in this video from a Scholastic book order from school, and I'm using it because it was really cute and I just didn't want to pass it on. Okay, so let's get started. The first step is cut out the books and the right sizes that you want to use for your doll. When you're done, it should look something like this or this. Okay, so now on to the paper part. Take a white sheet of paper, or the paper to your choice, and place your book cover whoops, on top of it, like that. Then just make little cuts here and there, so you know the length and the width of the book. Okay, you can't really see the cuts, but there's one here, and there's one there. Now when you're done, just cut out the rest of the shape of the book. When you're done, it should be small or something like this. Okay, so as you guys see, they are perfectly matched up and the right size to each other. Now you can already probably tell that this is going to be the back and this is going to be the cover. The next step is taking your tape or duct tape and putting these two pieces together and taping them right here so that when you open and close it, they're attached to each other. And if you don't like the way it is, or if your back cover is not even with the front cover, trim off what you need to make it even. Okay, so when you're done, it should look something like this. And yes, I know there's other stuff here, but I'm going to take care of that when this whole book is done. Because I'm just going to take a piece of paper and cover it. I could have used the cover and go like that. And then make another back cover. But that would take way too long. So instead, when I'm done with the book, I'm just going to take a piece of paper and cover that. Or I might do it when I make the pages. Okay, so on to the pages of the book. So... Obviously, you have to use 
your old paper that you used to make the back cover so that you could just cut straight along the paper to make the pages. Now if you need more pages, just redo one more cut here to make it the side of the book and cut along there too. Then attach those two together um, and it'll make it extra long or extended as book pages. Okay, so when you're done, it should look something like this, or long like mine, because I extended it. On to the next step. Okay, so if you guys know how to make a paper fan, like you fold it like this, that's exactly what you're going to do for the book. It may sound a little stupid at first, but it will turn out as real pages. So now I'm going to do the example of folding it. Keep watching. Okay, so how you do it is basically you just take your book cover, you measure it to the page size. Then just bend it down to the first one on how big it is. It should end up looking something like that. Just repeat doing that for the whole entire thing. I should end up kind of look like a mini fan, but not really. Just cut off any extra paper, like this. When you're done, it should look just like this. Woo! Woo! Now, with your duct tape. Tape two pages like this together. Repeat that until the book looks just like this. When you're done, it should look like this, like I showed you. Now, basically the last step to making this book possible is just taping the pages into the book. And now, as you can tell, my pages are way too big. So, trim them off. When you're done, it should look something like this. As you can tell, you can't just make it able to fall out like that. You're gonna have to tape this into here somehow and I'm going to show you how which is the last step so that when when you finish that your book's all complete and your dog can actually read it okay so what you can do is optional you can use your tape or glue to put some right here like right in the middle of the book and stick in the pages I'm going to be using tape Okay, the piece of tape does not have to be big at all. Make it at least around this size if you can see it even though it's clear, but that size. Now, what you gotta do to make it able to fit in the book is just um, make it into that type of shape, kind of like a cylinder. And there's the stickiness on the outside. Last, just stick it in the book. Now, if you think your duct tape is a little too big, just fold it in half. Then it'll be stick. It's going to be like sides of a stick, like that. Just stick it in the book. When you're done with the book, it's all complete. If you want to add in a little more detail, you can just draw scribbles on it to make it look like handwriting. Now you have a cute book to read with your doll when you're sitting or when she's going to bed or even if you want to use it for a stop motion.
You can use something like this for anything. You can make a diary or anything. This was the diary I was talking about before. It is this puppy diary. You can do the same thing. I put the little lock there and the pages so it looks like the book actually is open kind of like that. Now you and your doll have something to enjoy together. Like always, just keep liking, subscribing, and commenting. So thanks for watching.